Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart and I have a super cute card to share with you today. The card, actually the card base comes from the Wild Card 2 cartridge and I am using the Hive. So I basically I cut out the Hive and this layer for uh, my card and the card is at four and a half so it will fit in an A2 size um, card. And for my paper for this card, I actually use this old um, Stampin' Up! paper. I forget exactly what it was called, but I really like the reverse side. So I use that for my hive, and I wanted a brown door. So what I did was I just taped a piece of espresso cardstock along the back and then kind of just trimmed it to make sure that it was level with my card. I did quite a bit of doodling. I don't know if you can see all the doodling that I did all around the hive. It actually looks really good. It kind of needed a little bit of that. So around the door, around the hive, just um, a little bit of doodling there. And you can see my sentiment, which is wishing you a beautiful day which comes from Honey Pie from Pink by, my, by Design. I absolutely love this stamp set. I just love it. I love um, not only the sentiment, I love the fonts, and it just makes me want to make more B cards. So, I don't know. I just am crazy about that. So, what? here's the card base in white. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my hive down. And this was this was a pretty easy card. It was a fun a fun card to make because I've been wanting to make this hive for a while. And this looks ugly from this side, but no one is going to see that side, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I love 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 this card. Okay. So there is the card base. And then what I decided to do was I cut out of um, paper dolls every day. I cut a white picket fence. And this is going to go here and here. So I have these Prima flowers. I actually, I buy, I belong to the Paper Phenomenon Kit Club. And in the Kit Club, we get a lot of product. And um, every once in a while, there's a kit that just doesn't do it for me. and Or maybe I just don't want to use all the product that, that comes with my kit. It comes with a lot of fun stuff. So this is the case where I had this whole pack of Prima Flowers left. And these actually have this kind of hard stem that you can twist. So what I did was I cut it a little bit shorter. Can you see how long it is? So I cut it, and then I twisted it. Let's see if you can see that. I twisted it through the, the gate posts, and then it's going to fit down here. So I think that's really, really cute. So somehow, I think I'm going to use glue dots because I have these little um, glue dots, which I think will do nicely because I don't think my ATG is going to do real well with this. So let me see how I can get this on here. Let's get the middle one. And here we go. Get enough on here. Looks like I need some more. Get enough on here so it sticks. This will probably be enough to stick this one down. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. I'll probably stick up a little bit, but that's okay. And then, oops, I think I put it on the wrong side. I think this one's supposed to go on this side. So there's that. Get this down. There we go. And now I'm going to use some more glue dots for the other side. When I did this, I didn't think, like, how I was going to get it on my card. I was like, oh, I love this idea. I have this extra stuff. What am I going to do with it? I don't really use a lot of flowers 
in my cards, especially Primas. I love them, but I just I don't know how to integrate them into my cards all the time. Um, so when I think of a way to do it, it's exciting. Because the, the Prima flowers, they've gotten even more beautiful than, um, than a few years ago. I think they're just gorgeous now. Throw that away. And I'll put this down here. Okay, and there... There that is. And then I have a little bee. Of course, my Create a Critter bee. And she is cut at about two inches. And I stickled the yellow of her body and also her wings. And then I put some pink um, stickles on her cheeks to give her some little rosy cheeks. And I also stamped her face. So I hid her face in my Gypsy. And then I used... Peachy Keen Stamps, the Simple Sally's Face Assortment. And I love these assortments because you get all the different sizes. They definitely cost more, but I think you get more bang for your buck. So you get like all the sizes. So I think that's really cute. And then I put them on some, um, some foam tape here. And I'm going to fit this right here. And so ugh, put that down. Okay, so here is my really easy but really fun card today. I think it's really cute. And I'm gonna open it up so you can see that. Thank you very much for watching today. This is Cindy with Creating with the Heart.